Hello, everyone, and welcome. This is Seeing Crime. Hello, my darlings. I'm Zelda Kelly with Seeing Crime. And wow, I'm really seeing it today. One of the reasons that I named this thumbnail, uh-oh, brace yourselves, is because I've been reading on this since Friday and all weekend. What I want to do in front of you, because the majority of these readings are coming out the same, and I want to do this last re reading. You know what they say, third time is a charm? Well, this is the third time that I am officially using all the cards and going out because I'm going to tell you every time I get into it, it really just makes me angry. And then I put the cards down because I'm thinking, am I influencing the cards? Am I doing something wrong? Am I not grabbing onto this energy? Or maybe I'm reading something wrong. And then I clear the cards and clear the energy. And here we are again. So before I tell you what exactly it is, well, first of all, I would like to have you subscribe. If you please will do that and hit that notification bell and be here to support each other because if this reading turns out the way I'm hoping it does not, then things are going to go down and the shisala is going to hit the fan. That's what I'm just going to basically say. Now I'm here with the Kipper deck for the foundation, the hidden cartomancy deck, the Piatnik deck, 36 cards in six different languages. I always have to say that. And then we have the mythic tarot because it gravitates to this case. And I'm reading on the Karen Reed, the Commonwealth sending out their little 50 discoveries this past Friday. And for those of you who would like to know, the XLVII is number 47. And when you break that down, 47, 4 plus 7 is 11. 1 plus 1 is 2. And the 2 is working in partnership. Now, we're gonna get we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. So let's get started. I can tell you, I'm, uh, you may even hear it in my voice, I'm a little shaky, because this kind of thing just burns me up. And yes, I have cards. Yes, I have all kinds of things. And right now I'm just clearing the energy because I'm trying not to let my own emotions impact what is happening today, which is going to be very hard. But here we go, my darlings, angels. Look at the card that flipped over. A lot of energy in these cards. Angels, guides, spirits. Lay these cards out and show us about this discovery challenge with Hank Brennan. Now, this isn't going to be what you think it is. All right. Expectation. Yep, that's Karen. She is expecting some things. A message of concern. And I am concerned too. I can tell you that. I, I am definitely concerned. And the house. Look, the house has come up twice now. We see that. And you're here. You're seeing me do this. I am not a magician. And by the way, now is my time to say I'm not a lawyer. I'm not a law enforcement. I'm not a doctor. I'm not an expert in anything but reading the cards. And this is my opinion and for entertainment purposes only. And you are more than welcome to form your own opinion based on well, just our little conversation that we are having today. I'm not going to comment on these right now. I'm going to lay out some more cards. We're going to put these to the side. All right, my darlings, here we are. Page of Pentacles, that doesn't surprise me. The Ten of Wands, look, look at the card that that lays on top of. Six of Cups. And 
the Knight of Swords. Look at that double rider. I have not seen that one before. That's a very pretty card. And I'll explain what that's all about. Now, I'm going to lay out another row. And I think it's going to be this Piotnik. And then we're going to, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you what this is all meaning and where this is going. And yes, I've had similar cards come out over the weekend. Third time's a charm. And yes, so hang in there with me. Jealousy, well, we do know that. The death card. Misfortune. And the sweetheart. I'm just going to say that's America's sweetheart, Miss Karen Reed. All right, my darlings, let me see if I can get through this without being too angry and telling you what I'm seeing. We all know that Lolly and the CW and Ken Mello tried to indict Karen Reed and Turtle Boy Aiden Kearney for witness intimidation, actually conspiracy to intimidate. And that was this past year, March 27th of 2024. Of course, they tried also to include the two attorneys, is my understanding. And of course, there's no evidence, even though you can indict a bologna sandwich, and I've seen that happen. There was no evidence for them to be indicted. They did this backhanded, evil. Now, I, I'm going to break this down a little bit. Just because Hank Brennan is coming in here and he is not a prosecutor, but there's some clues I want you to think about, and that is he is limited on his contract to $75,000 at $250 an hour, which equates to about 300 hours, give or take. They expect him to get a job done quickly. Have you thought about that? They don't really expect him to do much of anything because, quite frankly, I'm not quite even sure that they are going to even have another trial January 27th. But I'm going to tell you why they're coming out with that right now before November, and that's this new discovery. I don't believe they have anything new. In fact, in this discovery, they're talking about Jem McCabe's Huss Long Google searches again. My question is, who the heck is on trial? Is it Jennifer McCabe? Or is it Miss Karen Reed? Because it certainly seems like they are defending Jennifer McCabe's Google searches. I mean, after all, who the heck gives a crap about her doing this? And what does it have to do with the price of tea in China? Well, I'll tell you. Yes, this can show that there was something nefarious going on in the background, but Jennifer McCabe is not on trial yet. So are they trying to lay the groundwork? Because they know. But I'm going to tell you what I really believe that this is. This is an expectation of the CW for the Supreme Court coming back. And basically, they are very concerned that Karen Reed is going to walk. They are more than concerned. You see this? Expectations, messages of concern, and it all comes back to the house. 34 Fairview Road. And it all comes back to them wanting to put Karen in jail. The reason they're going through all this discovery once again is sure, they say it's child prep. 
But what they're wanting to do is to prepare. And that's what Hank Brennan's job is. Those 300 hours to prepare, in my opinion. Because they want to prepare a brand new case where they can re-arrest Karen once again. And hold her there without bail. Now, does that surprise you? It shouldn't, because that's how evil works. Nothing else that they're doing is working. Even though they felt they had all these lawyers and judges on their side and that things were going pretty well, in the end, here we are with this trial. They don't, they don't want, they don't want another mistrial. They don't want another true bill. They want Karen behind bars. Do you know why? Because even so that they've done this discovery, the feds have also given over 3,000 pages, I believe it's more like 3,700 pages, of discovery that they have earned, learned, and received. What they're doing is that they're trying to get ahead of themselves. Because for them, putting Karen behind bars again, guess what? Shuts her up. And you know what else? Once they've got you in the system, darlings, it is, pardon the expression, hellfire to get you out. Yes, you can see that I'm angry. And this should make you angry too, because... I have heard such things as malicious prosecution. And this, in my opinion, is unethical. And someone down the line with the CW and with all these other people need to answer for this. But when you have corrupt judges and corrupt DAs and corrupt these people up and down the line, who the heck is going to hold somebody responsible? So you've got to go out further. And I'm praying that Josh Levy is watching this. I'm sure he is. I'm sure he is. Because now you can see where this is going on. And once again, this is going to cost more money. More money for Karen. And this is what they intend. Will they succeed? And that is my question here. Will they succeed at this evil, nefarious plan that they have for her? Look, they couldn't get Turtle Boy where they wanted him. And his crimes, compared to what he is accused of doing to Karen Reed, are kind of apples and oranges. However, they're having the same results. They don't want Turtle Boy out there investigating because he's a better journalist than anybody. Look, if, if he would have Boston 10 or CNN, what's the name of that? Yeah, Clinton News Network. I, anyway, CNN or CBS or ABC, NBC, MSNBC, any of those things, then they would be patting him on the back. Maybe, maybe, but I don't think so. They would be he would they they those networks would be encouraging Aiden to fall in line or else fall in line. He might be able to get away with it for a little bit with Fox, but who knows? Do you trust the mainstream media? I certainly do not. I don't think there's anything to trust the mainstream media with, except hearing the same thing over and over and over and over and again. And you see where some of these people with these networks, Court TV, have done a complete flip. Costing her money, and look at this, the Ten of Wands. Using their might, using the law to their favor by encompassing her again. I'm praying that I'm wrong. If you want to know the truth, I am just sick about this.
the Six of Cups, meaning going from choppy waters into a much calmer sea. And this is Karen looking at the cups and thinking, what will my fate be? Don't think that the defense haven't thought about this, nor Karen. Don't think about this, because I want you to think, if Hank Brennan was the good guy coming in and fighting corrupt police officers, don't, don't you think that the CW and these people are smart enough to, they're, they're planning all this? Because they're all about optics, right? They're all about setting things up, swapping out the suspect, swapping things out. They're all about the optics to make us believe. They want us to buy what they're selling. That's how it's done. And if you pound it into someone long enough, well, if you don't believe me, look up the story of Copernicus. That's a different story. This Knight of Swords, we're definitely going to be hearing some communication. And this is an action card. And it's right over this house. Now, what comes to mind with this jealousy? Well, Jennifer McCabe, you know she's behind all this. She knows. You know she has the personal telephone numbers of these bad actors. You know she's written in the wind, basically. And then look, what has it resulted in? What are they accusing Karen of? And this misfortune card over her? Over this idea of her wanting to know what is going on with her? I mean, quite frankly, I hate to even publish this. But I have to. Because I promised you and I promised myself that this is what's going to be done. I want to lay out some of the hidden. We're going to find out from the cartomancy now what is going to happen. What is going to happen? I And you know what? I hope this is one of these readers where I can just say, you know what, guys? I was wrong. Here's my pass. I, You know, just give me a pass on this one. Will you please just, just know that I can be wrong? Because I can be. And I'm the first one to admit it. But it's called free will. But I want you to think about the optics around Hank Brennan and his background. Oh, yes, he's the champion of the people. He's fighting corruption within the police departments and within the system. And it doesn't matter who his clients were. I mean, look at some of the clients of AJ's, right? Hello? That doesn't bother me. The, what bothers me is that he willingly took this. There's something going on. Because now, Lolly is second chair. Now, attorney Mark Bedero says, well, maybe it's because nobody else in the DA's office would want to take this. And you know what? I can, I can incline to, to agree with him. And they may have had to go out, but isn't there a lot of other attorneys who are prosecutors? Instead of getting a defense attorney? Isn't there a lot of other... Uh, I mean, low leg, I mean, whatever attorneys that they, and then they get this high powered Hank Brennan, who's, he's the, he's only there for a short period of time, my friends. He's there to come in, do this job and then get out. Boom. They're up to something. They're up to something. And unfortunately, our Karen Look at all the characters coming out. That's Karen's dad, by the way. And look, he's he's right over this. If he can protect her, God bless her. This is Jennifer McCabe. Not sure who this is right. Oh, this could be Kate Peter. But look at these two. You know who these two jokers, no pen intended, 
This is Colin Albert and Higgy Baby. This too is not a good too. It basically means a separation, the tearing down. It can actually mean a divorce, but it can mean pulling away, tearing away. Well, what are they wanting to do? They're wanting to tear the freedom from Karen and pull her and take her away. Hello. This is a fulfillment card, and this is a timing card. And you know what timing card this is? This is winter. Now, I believe this started... No, actually, my darlings, look at the timing on this. This is a spring timing card. So look, they started this March 27th, and they were foiled at their own plan because we know what they say. And dieting a bologna sandwich? Hello, hello. Meet Poe, and let's hope he doesn't do anything because... My goodness, he could be indicted too, right? Okay, sorry, I don't mean to get so bombastic. But it's true, I cannot help but get so charged up about this. This is a summer card. So now she goes from the spring to the summer and her trial in the summer and lo and behold, a mistrial. But now they're preparing. This is the winter timing card and now they're preparing their hidden agenda for this next trial in Jul in January. You know, she may, she may have it, she may not, but they're looking for fulfillment. You know what this is? This three of diamonds is, is the card of paperwork, telephone calls, bringing people together, So we have all these players that are going on right here now. This Ten of Hearts is a success card. Will they be successful with this mess? I don't know. Let's ask. This bothers me. It should bother you too. Recording and now, yeah, they've got a lot of more evidence, they say. What they're trying to do is refute and get rid of all of these bad actor patrolmen and troopers and whatever else you want to call them that really don't fulfill their oath. Revealing expressions and out. Yeah, there's, there's more to everything than meets the eye. Fake apology. Oh, we're, we're sorry, Karen. Right. Sorry, not sorry. And betrayal, backstab, traitor, not to be trusted. Is there somebody in Karen's camp that we maybe we shouldn't trust? I don't think so, but we don't know. But I want you to think now. Put your crime tarot lab investigator caps on and be thinking set yourself aside and don't be emotional like your auntie zelda set yourself aside and be thinking what is the purpose to have a short-term contract with this high-powered attorney and they're squelching him at 250 dollars per hour this should be a million dollar contract but it's not because they're expecting a short-term result. They're expecting something to happen. They are expecting Karen to be freed, and they want to re-indict her again, and they can. With all of this mess, they're trying to come up with something new. They've already done it through lies. March 27th, and that included Turtle Boy. So they're trying to come up with more lies so they can indict her and keep her in jail. And I'm going to tell you something, my darlings. If they revoke her bail, and they will, if she is re-indicted for something more, they will revoke her bail, in my opinion. I'm not a lawyer, but okay, I sometimes see how these goes, and this is my opinion. But they can. I better say that, in my opinion. Revoke her bail. And she'll be, she, she won't pass go to collect $200. She'll go straight to jail. 
no matter what, in the middle of the night, in a nightgown, to humiliate her in a nightgown. I can bet you right now, my darlings, I can tell you this right now. This poor darling probably sleeps dressed. Think about it, because that's, that's what they do. They come in the middle of the night. And they knock on the door. So you're not dressed. You don't have shoes on. They can humiliate you. That's what they would want to do with her. I bet she sleeps in sweats with white undergarments and white socks. How much do you want to bet? This is them building a new foundation because they want a new beginning. They want this to be a new negotiation period. They want this. You see the Queen of Swords here, my darlings? Look, I'm going to show you this. This Knight of Swords, see, orders come from the King of Swords down to the Queen of Swords and then to the Knight of Swords because the Knights of Swords carry out the action. This is the part where they're going to offer her a plea deal. Would she take it? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't believe it. But this three of pentacles is them laying a new foundation, coming up with new information. Don't put anything past these bad actors. Don't do it. We are going to be very fooled. And believe me, I know that AJ and Yanetti are seeing the same thing, as well as attorney Mark Bettero and attorney Melanie Little. Because there's some big question marks in this. Now, this is my opinion. And, and, and this is one reading. I hope that you just say, okay, Zelda, well, you're full of the brown stuff. Never forget about it. You're wrong. Oh, man, please say that to me when the time is done. And then we'll all have a nice little chuckle. Look at this. Look at this. It's all about the timing and the truth is being hidden absolutely and they're going to do their best to hide this truth from everybody involved one more card my darlings one more card and do me a favor before i lay these out come on over to patreon there's going to be some really new stuff over there about the event november 5th some other things and also this is the last call for those of you who are members of my channel. Please find the post in the community post that is for you to let me know what name you want me to shout you out with because I want to do that so bad. I appreciate you so much. Please do that. And if you aren't a member, you can find the join me link right below in the description. And there's going to be a little button down there under the video too. And I want to thank you for that. But this is the final message. Final message for my darlings. Fake person. That is Hank ben Brennan. Let's not trust him nor the horse that he rode in on. Thank you, my darlings. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. This has been the same. Pretty much the same. Some of the same cards are coming out. I'm praying that I'm wrong. Please let me know in the comments what you're thinking. Thank you so much. You know what? We can't put anything past these rascals. I love any, each and every one of you. Thanks again. And I will see you very, very soon. Please, free Karen. Bye for now.